वेलकम टू द लेजेड टॉक शो गाइज आई एम डॉक्टर जूई हियर एंड टूडे आई एम ऑब्वियसली सो मच एक्साइटेड बिकॉज दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट अमेजिंग एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी एंटायरली बिकॉज इट इज अ कम्बाइंड सेशन आई एम डूइंग दिस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड या एंड दिस टू वुमेन्स आर लिटरली अमेजिंग वन वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड शी हैज़ ऑलरेडी डन द सेशन विथ मी हर नेम इज़ अलमास एंड शी हैज़ ऑलरेडी गिवन एन अमेजिंग सेशन इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट वुमेन एंड हर इंडिपेंडेंसी एंड एवरी थिंग एंड द सेकेंड पर्सन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू टूडे इज डॉक्टर मानसी ठाकुर शी इज़ अ कैनाकोलॉजिस्ट शी इज़ गोइंग टू हेल्प अस थ्रू सम क्वेश्चन दैट मी एंड अलमास हैव एंड इट इज़ गोइंग टू कवर ऑल ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सो आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट अलमास एंड मानसी in few minutes so i think uh, you sh- you guys are ready now so let's know the unknown guys hi how are you doing hi how are you thank you you tell me that and absolutely fine how are you doing i am doing so great i am so excited today man because this is the first combined session with you yeah. and mana yeah, are you excited man yeah super excited Yeah, let let Ma uh, let uh, Manshi join now with us. Mm-hmm. I sent her the request. Let's see. Hi, hi, hi Manshi. Hi, Almas. Hi, hi. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Hello, Almas. 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 Yeah, basically, yeah. I want to tell all of these uh, viewers who have joined recently now, and people are still joining. I'm going to tell you guys this topic is totally different, and it is related to like uh, pregnancy first of all, and it is like before delivery and after delivery. What all questions that frequently asked questions people have, like more specifically, all of the people around me. These these people ask me these questions, and I'm like, I am not sure about it. So let's. take the session now so basically this is the main motto to have this session here okay so uh, there is a problem okay. with manthi i guess i'm going to just connect yeah, her one yeah we lost her yeah yeah okay that is uh, it is going to happen for yeah, yeah, the second cycle yeah i'm back yeah yes <laughs> manthi is back <laughs> Yeah. Okay. First of all, the viewers know who is Almas. So, Almas, yeah. your introduction once. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Almas, and I'm a very good friend of Mansi's. Like, uh, we have been in touch. Like, we were friends initially. Uh, like, when we were in our 11th standard, I guess, Mansi. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So that's how we know each other. And uh, Mansi is a top-notch guy, Nat. Okay. <laughs> Not <laughs> a top-notch guy, Nat. Just started. <laughs> yeah, but she will be a top-notch guy, Nat, soon. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So Man- today about today's session. Yeah. Mansi, I think uh, it's your introduction time. Let people yeah. know who is Mansi uh, Thakur. Hi, uh, I have uh, done my MS Obstetrics and Gynecology. I've done DNB also, and recently I passed the MS UG Part Two exam. And uh, uh, right now I am doing my bond, and I'll be starting my consultancy in Nagpur very very soon. So wow, that's the plan. Yeah. Awesome! How are you feeling coming live like this and spreading yeah, the good this information? Is the, this is uh, this is my first time actually with you. Wow! I'm you I the, to ask you <laughs> the experience after this. Good opportunity. Oh, thanks to you that I we can actually put a light on this information and spread to people and whomever they have any problem they can ask you and Almas also. So I yeah, think yeah, we yeah. should start the session now. I'm going to ask few questions, but I think uh, Almas uh, is the one who is <laughs> asking the first question now. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to begin with a little. You know, there's a friend of mine, Mansi. Uh, yes. She is like she's been planning on conceiving. Like uh, the she and her partner, they're trying to have a child since I guess okay. they've been trying since the past four to six years. Uh, okay. But she was like diagnosed with PCOS. Like when she was eighteen oh. or maybe twenty years old, oh, so yeah. she was having oh, trouble yeah. conceiving. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's having trouble conceiving, and everywhere that she goes, like she's tried different uh, doctors, different gynecs, 
but everywhere mm-hmm. everywhere that she goes she gets the same reply that you know she needs to lose weight to conceive yes yeah so, so we like to uh, hear about see, this pcos is mainly a, a hormonal problem actually because of some hormonal imbalance it causes weight gain and because of weight gain it causes irregular menstruation because of irregular menstruation there is no ovulation and because of no ovulation there is no pregnancy so this is a vicious cycle it goes on and goes on and somewhere it needs to take a break so mm-hmm. that is because uh, the main motto here is to weight is weight loss because weight loss helps in balancing those hormones and is very very important actually gynax they have other drugs and all but weight loss is the basic natural method to stop this vicious cycle and break it somewhere it needs a nice break and other methods are there but these are all uh, chemicals and hormones and they uh, very very costly methods and ultimately they tell you to get a test tube baby so this is so that's why she is getting this weight loss weight loss weight loss it's very important okay and other things yeah. are pcos also uh, has a very uh, bad side effect uh, in long term like it has uh, risks of hypertension diabetes and many other problems cancers endometrial cancers uterine cancers everything is there in the later part of the life so weight loss is okay. very very important i know she must be have facing problems but it, it needs to be there okay so, nice. so another another little question that i just want to add to this part is yes. like like do you think that you know there are certain methods or measures that can be taken to prevent pcos in the first place can you like can we do anything can she yeah see pcos uh, is uh, there is no prevention actually It's just if uh, if she is she is obese or she is overweight and she is still not having pcos then she can control her diet and do exercise but uh, actually we cannot tell that there is some there is any prevention or there is any kind of uh, alarming uh, way to stop that that it okay. needs to be done the way it needs to be done okay oh okay i want to know some basic importance of uh, prenatal vitamins and obviously everybody should know what are these vitamins so i would be loving to know that this what are the names of these vitamins see uh, in pregnancy not only vitamins we need iron calcium and obviously many other vitamins so yeah. uh, um, vit- in, among the vitamins there are folic acid uh, that is vitamin b9 and vitamin b12 these two vitamins are very important vitamin a is contraindicated in pregnancy it should never be taken in pregnancy okay other, other drugs like iron and calcium are very very important because what happens in pregnancy is that the blood wa- the blood water increases and compared to that the hemoglobin does not increase okay. so if we don't consume iron then it will lead to decrease in hemoglobin and during the pregnancy what happens is there is a lot of blood loss so yeah that increase in hemoglobin is needed to cope up with the blood loss that happens at the time of delivery so it is the most important thing that is needed in the pregnancy what if you 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 don't eat food you don't eat anything but you have to take iron it's very 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 important and the other thing is calcium which is needed for lactation and the okay. bone growth of the baby so these three yeah. drugs are to be taken from the fifth month of the pregnancy and very very important there yeah 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 i mean it is really important to let people know this yes. because if, uh, actually what happens if something is that happens iron yeah. causes iron causes a lot of nausea and uh, constipation so people uh, women generally they don't intend to take these medications and they just yeah. lie to their doctors that they are taking but if this even be well yeah, yeah. even be yeah. well the tablet itself it smells so bad yes <laughs> so that happens okay that is really amazing yeah like i mean it should be known to every single person i hope people are getting a big help from this i hope i hope okay so uh, i want to know like uh, weight gain or weight loss during the pregnancy like how it does it actually affects to a mother or the baby and what is the procedure actually what happens see weight um, in the pregnancy there is weight gain actually in the books yeah. uh, they they tell that at least 11 kg is weight gain should be there in the entire pregnancy yeah. and um, women today because of 
health because they are uh, uh, figure free and they don't yeah. gain weight so that is the main problem to nowadays that should not yeah. happen because this this pregnancy weight gain is very easy to lose after the baby is delivered and after the lactation so so yeah, yeah. no compromise on weight gain should be there because whatever the mother eats is the fetus the fetus is eating the same yeah. and if the mother doesn't yeah, yeah. gain the weight then the fetus will not gain the weight and then it will be less low birth weight is what uh, it is called at least the the fetus should be at least 2.5 kg when the yeah. when it is delivered and if it is below that then there are other problems other uh, future problems to the baby as well so okay so see, one important. of my friends uh, yes. the person who talked with almas i guess uh, yes. she uh, she said like in the uh, at the time of 7 month or 8 month i guess uh, she said like suddenly uska weight thoda sa matlab lose hua and she mm-hmm. she was like little bit of scared like mushkil se itna mere ko weight hua tha gain hua tha aur mm-hmm. suddenly itna sa ho gaya and then she is not even feeling like she is pregnant and people are saying like dude the kuch lag hi nahi raha hai dekh ke <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why why does it happen like this? And it's like cares, no, it, uh, to the mother. Yeah, there are uh, a multiple factors for that actually. Uh, okay. I don't know if, well, what kind of weight loss she had. If she was not showing the belly or what, I don't know. But uh, yeah. it may have happened that the fetus was not growing well in the tummy. I think because uh, okay. it it happens. It is called as uh, fetal growth restriction. the term is called fetal okay. growth restriction so uh, it's a very uh, not wanted thing for the fetus maybe that was okay. the cause or uh, she must be having some other problems like uh, some other general condition some anemia she must be having or some vitamin deficiencies but uh, okay. generally this should not happen at least uh, people generally gain 9 to 10 kg of weight in the pregnancy but does it happen like uh, normally like uh, suddenly weight loss uh, within like few months or few days something like this no the, it should not uh, happen no 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 yeah no, it should not happen okay okay then Can another you... friend is mine manji it just yes. one one yes. point yes yes uh, one yes one friend is mine manji uh, in the recent time i recently spoke to her so yes. what happened to her sister was uh, mm. the baby was fine like in the dummy the weight was fine the baby's weight was mm. fine but mm. uh, in they got this uh, fifth month genetic anomaly scan done everything was mm-hmm. fine in that as well but mm-hmm. in the seventh month like for some reason like the seventh month is about to end so now the doctors mm-hmm. have recently told her that uh, the baby's limbs have not formed completely so mm-hmm. yeah and this is the seventh month like there's no no other like the, uh, no turning back no yeah and nothing was diagnosed she- in the genetic anomaly scan So mm-hmm. yeah. Ma, uh, I'm I'm just sorry, but where was she sh- uh, showing? Actually, which city? I just want to know. Ah, uh, somewhere in. Uh, I mean, she stays in Gujarat, but okay. uh, I I I don't remember the city. I actually, mean, she comes. Not, the sister is yeah yeah. Actually, this should not happen. This should because the limbs that are formed are quite clearly seen in the fifth month scan. So. Yeah, the the limbs not showing at that time and showing now, so it's a very gross, gross, gross mistake by the yeah. doctor. I am not blaming and blaming anyone, but this must have been a mistake by one the one who did the anomaly scan because yeah. uh, this it should is, not happen. Yeah. This should never yeah. happen. It is so traumatizing, you know, Mansi, yeah. for her yeah. and for her family, for course, in laws, for her own family. Because uh, we tell people to do that, and even after doing it. it's not exactly the exactly exactly she did get the fifth month anomaly scan i asked her the same question like two to three times and she was mm-hmm. like yes we did get it done i also have the reports and everything but then you know now this is the scenario and it's very, it's very you know mentally yeah it's so yes. traumatizing for them just imagine their plight you know like so difficult it is it's a very difficult time for them and you know <laughs> i hope they get it, get from get out from it soon <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We are all praying for them. They are in our constant thoughts and prayers. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think a uh, lot of things are like this. Uh, but when we come across few people and they share their experience, then only we come to know. Okay, ऐसा भी कुछ होता है. Exactly. And so strange. 
when people don't know actually kitna bada spectrum hai there are a lot of things that might happen at any point and we don't know how to overcome it or how to help other people who are asking the help to us so i mean it's really nice of you almas that you actually shared this and manchi thank you so much for telling like it is actually not supposed to happen you have to take care and look for it like each and yes. every time right each and every time yes at least yeah. uh, the educated class the non educated yeah. are there yeah please educated one should follow these steps yeah yeah okay so can you tell something about c section um, normal birth or uh, v back mm, yeah see nowadays yeah. uh, many of the patients are complaining that the gynecs are recommending c section the gynecs are recommending c section yes. yeah the rates have been I mean, increased the, the rates have increased <laughs> there are a lot of they are just saying the same thing they are like dude unhone bola ki normal karana hai karana hai aur wo bol bhi rahe and at the <laughs> big time that they are saying like uh, not possible you have to go for c section it's like man it kuch ready nahi kiya tha yaar i wasn't ready for this and she was scared obviously so See, why uh, the the trends have changed from the past uh, 10 to 20 years and the shift is towards the c section because uh, nobody wants to take this not for the yeah. mother not the, not the gynecologist not the patient not their relatives nobody wants to take this nobody wants to take the blame on them so yeah. this and plus the the medical legal things are there that uh, there are cases done here and there there so a lot of things are there and because of this the shift is uh, get, in the society only that that is happening and the shift is getting towards the c section thing uh yeah I, uh, these things are happening but still uh, the one those who are practicing very ethically they are still trying to give uh, trial for the normal deliveries and nowadays mm-hmm. there have uh, there are newer things like painless deliveries there are many other things that have that are helping the normal process of the normal delivery uh, yeah. one thing is called epidural uh, birth so in this the patient does not feel any pain at all till the baby is born like till the baby's he- head is coming out at that time only she feels pain so newer okay. things are coming up but still uh, there are uh, certain situations where people still they are not ready to take take risks at these times of the days because of the situation and other yeah. thing is the we back we back is vaginal birth after c section is yeah. uh, my point of view is that uh, in the uh, literature there are things that it is it can be done or it can be done but uh, but it is a very 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 high risk process because uh, if anything happens to the sutures on the uterus that were before mm-hmm. the only limit the only way out of it is removal of removal of a uterus so it's very yeah, traumatic it's very and i my personal feeling is that we should not go for v back is my personal feeling i'm not uh, contradicting anybody but whatever okay. i feel i'm telling that we back should yeah. not be tried and it's a very dangerous yeah. and most importantly most importantly what like be uh, like i see you know like after i have a child i am yeah. a mother what i feel is a healthy baby and uh, yes. the health of the mother that is what matters the most yes. right, right. you know we it, it can be a c section we are only towards healthy mother and healthy baby because exactly uh, uh, at the end of the process people only see these things they don't Uh, go back and see ki ye hua wo hua exactly Once exactly they are happy they are happy exactly and you know the health of the mother and the child it is of the utmost importance like for the family for the doctor for everyone it doesn't matter like you know even we three like who cares who was a c baby or who was a normal baby nobody mm-hmm. cares right the three of us talking right now it doesn't make a difference right it's not going to change anything Yes. So yeah. what I feel is you know people should just let go of this concept कि नहीं नहीं हमको तो normally करना है whatever mm-hmm. is you know the mother is comfortable with whatever try to you know try to understand her perspective if she is scared you cannot yeah. force her into something कि नहीं नहीं अब तो normal ही कराओ there are families so many of my mm-hmm. friends you know under yeah. their family pressure they have been through this that you know they had so much immense pressure from their families and ultimately their families being so like you know rigid they did not want to go for a c delivery and what happened was in the last minute tak ke they waited and ultimately the doctor had to go for a c section because it was yeah. so last minute at that time 
nothing could yeah. you know they could reverse anything so people need to understand that whatever it is what matters the most is the health of the baby and the mother you know actually the elders need to understand that the ch- trends are changing right now that is exactly the- exactly that exactly. is actually very important but it's really kind of an impossible thing because <laughs> the thinking they have is so old no and uh, mm. the same thinking has put on the daughter also of yes. like, it's like they say this thing like kuch bhi karke go yeah. for normal only because it is going to go are wo thodi na jayegi normal ke liye it it depends like what is going to be the situation after 8 months and what is going to be the situation in the 9 months because yes. kuch bhi kaise bhi ho sakta hai some complications come anyhow doctor has to go for c section only डांट लाइक वो ये नहीं सोचेंगे ना कि नॉर्मल कराने के चक्कर में वो मदर को भी हर्ट हो जाए और फिर बेबी को कुछ हो जाए दैट टाइम द डॉक्टर विल बी द वन हु विल बी ब्लेम्ड नो यस एग्जैक्टली यू नो ऑन दिस अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन लाइक इवन वी ऑल नो हर आई गेस बट एनी हाउ सो शी शी वाज रिसेंटली एक्सपेक्टिंग अ बेबी एंड हर फैमिली वाज सो मच इंक्लाइंड टुवर्ड्स अ नॉर्मल बर्थ लाइक दे आस्क्ड हर टू पिक अप दिस बिग heavy bucket full, full of you know wet clothes that you know people dry on the terrace or something she used to carry that heavy bucket three floors mm mm-hmm. it her My house goodness. was a three story house she was forced to do that don't do that yeah mm-hmm. she's an expecting woman give her rest you are like you know labor kara rahe ho ab usse again again for I mean, such a small she's thing the pain she is experiencing exactly. and the people are telling her bhai tum yahi karo yahi acha hai are but exactly This Listen was her eighth me. month. This was what yeah. she was being asked to do in her eighth month. Imagine her My life. My goodness, it's not you at know? all right. Exactly, what you are trying to do is so wrong. Just imagine her life. She's expecting. She's so. She's in so much pain. Like the pelvic floor starts expanding and adjusting itself mm, for the baby yeah. to move out. So there's immense pain in the pelvic floor area. Yes. And she was being yeah. asked to carry that big, heavy bucket twice. Two big full loads of buckets twice on three floor building. Imagine how plain, yeah. you know. When that thing happens, also like normal birth, हो भी जाता है. And that time, these people only say like, "See, I told you to do this." इसी के वजह से हुआ है. Like, दो बाल्टी कपड़े, दो बाल्टी कपड़ों का magic है. Then what do people do? वो सब बाकी और को भी बताते हैं यार. I mean, they believe कि हमारे बोलने से ये सब हुआ है. and the pressure on other women also jo unke aas paas hai is like this is not right. at all right don't do this see i think uh, one person here sania she has one question i guess i'll read it for you guys yes uh, hi everyone i had a normal delivery i had tailbone pain for approx 2 months still have a consistent pain at time when i sit for a long period of time does the pain go away gradually it's a question Does the pain? Let me to sit for a long time to let the pain go away. Okay, she's telling that she has to sit for a long time. Yeah, she's oh, asking. She maybe maybe she's hard. trying to imply that whenever she sits for longer durations, she gets she that pain to. again. Like yeah. maybe it might yeah. be faded, but when she sits for longer time, maybe the pain has altered. So maybe that's what yeah, she's trying to. Yeah, that happens imply. actually because of uh, the. Uh, the baby's pressure the pelvis is expanding there there can be sometimes nerve damages so these kind of nerve damages take a very long time like 6 months to 1 year to recover to complete uh, back to their normal thing so it uh, yeah uh, what was the name so i i Tanya. Didn't tell her that Tanya. yes uh, stay there it will take time but it will heal by its own okay one year one and a half year it will take but it will be fine great i mean people also started asking question i'm feeling so good they feel like okay the right information is here right here exactly <laughs> thank you so much manshi for this and thank yeah, you almas for uh, keeping a scenario in front of her so that she would explain it more easily and people also can understand it more easily mm-hmm. okay i uh, one more question is there like what are the most common issues that come across mm-hmm. in the pregnancy pre pregnancy period yeah um commonly there are uh, you know there is uti there is uh, nausea vomiting in the first few trimesters so uh, i would like to elaborate on the nausea vomiting thing is yeah. uh, yes and the three months are there it, it, it occurs in the first three months 
and uh, the the lady has a lot of pressure that you're not eating you're vomiting you cannot eat anything how will you take care of the baby how will you uh, give her that and this and this and she gets into more stress and stress again leads to more trauma things so it is again yeah. a vicious cycle there Thanks, so yeah. uh, stay there it will go away by 3 months nothing to worry about it it's natural it happens to around 50% women and it is uh, curable by medications and it will it will go and after that you will be very fine your baby will grow very well and no need to worry about nausea vomiting it's natural and it happens to everyone almost 50% people so okay. other thing the other other things are uti is also common uh, the it is because of uh, excessive uh, the the baby grows it has it gives pressure on the bladder and the bladder volume decreases so yeah uh, there's fre- increased frequency of uh, urination also yeah. and uh, because of that uti also is common the main the basic uh, thing that can be done is uh, plenty of fluids like uh, mm-hmm. try to take enough you know, fruits 3 to 4 liters of water in any kind of thing in any kind of way yeah and uh, it will not happen but please don't uh, self medicate on these things if you are feeling if you are having any symptoms please go to the doctor and you'll be cured uh other things that have come recently uh, i'd like to throw a light on that is that uh, hypertension and diabetes are on a tremendous yeah. rising trend because of late conceptions now nowadays yeah. people try to conceive after 33 35 so because of that these things are also into scenario these days and uh, i would like to tell people who are conceiving later that please 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 go and check your bp and sugars very frequently and very uh, timely go to your doctors if you are having any problem and uh, there are treatment on there is treatment on this and it will be cured but you have to go and visit your doctor for this there's no other way out of it for hypertension and diabetes there's no other way out of it okay, okay. Uh, so there was a specific question. Ah, uh, me and Almas had a conversation on the specific age <laughs> to yeah. have baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you remember that, Almas? Yeah, the society telling you. Ah, uh, I actually, <laughs> actually want to know from society what is the specific or like perfect uh, time or at the specific age like which is more healthy for a. Abhi trending jo women's hai bhi today are. their uh, mechanism system is entirely different like earlier so what is the specific age See, they might Julie, there is no thing of the mechanism me. because uh, no yeah. change in the mechanism because human body is yeah, yeah. like that it was previously yeah 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 um ba- as a doctor i would like to tell you that at least there should be at least one baby before 30 years of age and uh, Okay. We were, initially it was recommended two babies before 30 years of age but now at least one baby before 30 years of age and um, try not to okay. conceive uh, after 35 be it let it be between 30 and 35 the first baby should be there between 30 and 35 okay after 35 it's very 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 difficult because there are a lot of problems after that okay 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 Thank you so much, Manti. These were some pre-delivery questions, and now uh, I am going to totally shift the attention towards Almas now because she is he is having the post-delivery question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Almas. So uh, yeah, so Manti, uh, just you know, basic questions that I had in mind, like you know, what should be the like you know after delivery? So many women, like eighty, seventy to eighty percent women, they do end up getting stitches. Yes. Stitches can be in, you know, even in C-section, you know, or maybe in vaginal birth, like normal yes. deliveries. Any time, yes. you know, any del- any kind of yeah. delivery, yeah. like women do get stitches. Yes. So according to you, like how should be the post stitches, you know, care and everything? See, the post stitches care is very uh, topic leading to an anxiety in people. This should not happen. Once the stitches are removed by the doctor, there is absolutely no care needed for the stitches. You can take your bath. You can. clean the area during the bath and there is no no any no need to apply any other home remedy methods to those to these areas do nothing just clean it and they'll be okay i have seen cases uh, that have been uh, damaged because of using these home remedies these different kind of oils and i don't know whatever they put there so this should not happen after the stitches are removed if the doctor has recommended anything that should be applied and if it if it is not been there there is no recommendations and only taking a bath and cleaning it during a bath is the only method that should be done 
so no home remedies and no home application of any oils or any other stuff okay okay no it's actually you know this topic is such that you know people yes. don't want to talk about it they don't want to open up yeah. so yeah. i just wanted to you know you to throw mm-hmm. some light on it then the second question is you know lactation it's a very big and important issue yes. so we'd love to hear about it from you see lactation is uh, what is the need for the baby and it should be provided to it because if it is not there then the growth of the baby is severely affected uh, recommended is that uh, should, the baby should be given 6 months of exclusive breastfeeding which means that no other thing other than breast milk no water nothing and uh, after that uh, after the 6 months uh, you can slowly start adding uh, other stuff like uh, dal ka pani yeah many other steps are there so this is called as weaning process so 6 months of exclusive breastfeeding is needed and uh, should be practiced by every woman actually every uh, outgoing working it, it 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 can be done see what is there uh, if a woman is working she can just take out her milk and store which can be given to the baby afterwards by any uh, any other person in home so it's not that difficult to breastfeed a baby uh, so i would recommend that whatever the woman is working with she should breastfeed her baby for sex month okay the breast it is done for six months it helps it gives you complete amenorrhea that is there are no periods for six months and this is the best contraception method for that time that six months and uh, you don't need any other thing you can be free you can just you just you are just uh, tension free for those 6 months and after that after 6 months yes the contraception is needed but these 6 months if you breastfeed the baby then you have many 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 uh, benefits of that that is what i would like to tell you okay uh, one little doubt here man yes. see a couple of friends of mine who conceived and who had their babies they were exclusively yes. breastfeeding them yes uh, they started with their menses like their menstrual cycle and everything uh, in yes. just like second or maybe third month postpartum okay. yeah so like uh, still no uh, protection or like no contraception is required in such cases mm, no then then you would need because sometimes um, every person is different if a person starts her period uh, even if she is breastfeeding then yes the contraception yeah. is needed contraception yeah, is needed because, because uh, she has started periods so there is ovulation ovulation is the is that the eggs yeah. are being yeah. hatched exactly they need contraception exactly. for that yeah because you know people are not having a lot of information about this hmm. issue as well and yes. then they are like kya re aapne to bola tha ki no contraception hmm. till 8 months so hmm. you know it's a little hmm. risky part here okay then another thing you know about blood loss like mm-hmm. the initial 40 to 45 days or maybe some women have more than that so mm-hmm. something about that mansi from you uh blood loss uh, actually should not happen for more than 15 minutes uh, for for more than 15 days after okay. uh, delivery um it, if it is happening then you need to consult your doctor because it's uh, it's not good to have blood loss for 30 days and more than 30 days 15 20 days is fine and if it, if it is going beyond that then please please consult your doctor they can they can be an issue there cannot be an issue but you just need to be safe on that thing so please uh, take care for that i like to tell the audience about that yeah and uh, one little topic which is the most important that is you know the ladies diet the lactating mm-hmm. women's diet like how mm-hmm. it should be uh diet she can have her daily meals uh the calories are needed more even more than the than what she was eating in pregnancy actually because she is feeding another another uh, living being also so more calories are needed in uh lactation period people don't know this actually because they think that once the baby is born you know you don't need to take anything you yeah take and you nowadays they just want to shed off their pregnancy weight so what they do is you know they start dieting as soon as the baby is born like no, they try to make amendments in their diet no this should not happen because more calories are needed in lactation than the than what was needed in pregnancy so at least okay. till you are breastfeeding the baby for 6 months at least you should take extra extra calories and then you can obviously start uh, losing your weight again okay awesome 
I mean, uh, it's really informative. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think this is the most biggest benefit that I'll, I, I'm having, obviously, because I had no knowledge about this. Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> and other guys who have who are watching and they have asked these questions also, and I'm really glad that some or the other way the session has helped them, and it is going to help uh, in future also. And I'm really happy to tell you guys. these two are obviously available for all of your questions to answer yes. <laughs> right yes 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 we okay. are available all time absolutely Anytime. right so okay tomorrow i'll do one thing i am going to post a little introduction with all of uh, little bit details like what kind of help manchi provides so i'm going to post this in a story tomorrow and it will be a great help for you guys to directly sure. text her and, and everything okay yes. i want to ask one interesting question manchi yes yes shoot have you come across with certain situation or some patient who is entirely different and talks different and presents themselves different and it was very hard for you to convince them for certain thing have you experienced something like this recently <laughs> why are you asking this <laughs> Uh, <laughs> because right. every doctor experiences one some like one totally different person that comes along and you have a different experience because daily thing you have same thing to do right like it's a uh, it's I a routine think, uh, every day is different every day one person <laughs> comes and eats your head <laughs> yeah no but i'm saying you know you are one unforgettable patient <laughs> yeah. one unforgettable one because any time wherever you ask for this you will say acha ek थी यार एक तो थी उसने जान डाली थी मेरी या देयर आर मेनी एक्चुअली आई कैन नॉट या देयर आर सी नाउ आई एम वर्किंग इन अ हॉस्पिटल एज अ सीनियर रेसिडेंट सो माय आई डोंट हैव माय प्राइवेट पेशेंट्स सो देयर आर मेनी राउडी पेशेंट्स दैट कम देयर बिकॉज़ इट्स अ गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल ऑफ कोर्स एंड दे मेक थिंग्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर अस दे रोल ओवर द फ्लोर दे try to jump they try to run they take out everything and run away so what the, these things happen <laughs> it's, uh, it's a very uh, <laughs> yeah how do you handle it for nancy acha bag mein hai wo to roz hota hai yeah roz nahi hota hai nahi nahi ek baar hota hai Okay, okay, so nice. Question to you, but related to dentistry, I want to. I wanted to ask this question also the last time, but I forgot to ask this. I want to ask you now. One patient that you always will remember, and now you also remember that, and some something related to it, and it is okay. There was this one lady. Uh, we did one silver amalgam filling for her, and till date she keeps calling me every four to six months. She was okay. an aged patient basically, so I gave her my number and everything. So it this happened during my final year, second term basically. So okay. she still calls me to tell me that okay, this has you know upgraded a little. So what should I do? And every time she calls me, I very politely tell her, Auntie, you go. There must be a lot of interns and final year students. Anybody will you know get your filling done. So see, she is in touch with me till like today. <laughs> And it was so long back, man. You treated yeah, her yeah. so long back. My goodness. Yeah, wow. it happens. It does. Yeah, happen. it's it's really interesting to know because see, here we three of us are doctors. Two yeah. are dentists. They have entirely different experience. Each and every minute, I must tell you, Mansi. Each and every minute, we faced <laughs> different set of people coming and saying stuff. But uh, it was really interesting to know what kind of patients you see and how experiences <laughs> you have, Mansi. <laughs> Running away, I heard it for the first time. <laughs> yeah, there are many. Pretty good. Okay, thank you so much to both of you. And one one last question to both of you, Alan, to both of you. That is, can you give me your feedback on the Reddit talks that I started? Hi, uh, yes, Julie. Actually, you're doing a very, very good thing, and uh, it's a good platform for you as well as for us and uh, the people yeah. who have uh, doubts and those who want help. So yeah, yeah, this is a very nice thing that you are doing, and you keep it up, and may you succeed in this and achieve great heights. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> Almas, from your.
and and every we what you doing it you know uh, it touches so many people at once you know like so many people who are not able to ask these questions frequently like you know pre delivery or post delivery you know every t- sabke liye probably help is not available we are not you know the luxury we have we have help at our fingertips everyone mm-hmm. is that not that privileged so this platform you know it actually helps them to get in touch with a good doctors like mansi you know people who can yeah. help them in some or the other way like me so they yeah. do end up getting help like since our last session so many women have actually you know contacted me asking wow. me questions like you know how to is this the stage is this a question that i should be taking up to a doctor they are yeah. you know that they are in such a big fix they don't even know like should they be taking this mm-hmm. little thing to a doctor they are like pretty much mm-hmm. confused and when it comes to a baby your mind is always in a fix you are always in ambiguity okay ye, should i be showing this to a specialist should i be taking this to a doctor so so many people you know who actually do end up and end up getting help so it's a great ventures we that you started and like the last time i said i really hope i wish that you know you climb the ladders of success all the best yes. <laughs> i want it bad thank you so much uh the sanya who asked the question she says thank you to manti and there is one yeah, person mujum mujum daramitta yeah, she says yeah, very yeah. informative dr <laughs> manti yes thank you maushi <laughs> <laughs> okay and yeah i mean obviously there was this one uh, initiative kind of an idea from almas like uh, after the baby comes how do we need to take care of the baby related to like coming from small small things like diapers kaise change karna hai when to feed and uh, why it is like feeling like meko aisa lagta hai ki usko maine zyada feed kar diya hai and something like this all of this information are supposed to be given in some certain class or something so do you really feel that exactly. there should be a specific place for this manthi that like people uh, can go yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, okay uh, you can uh, consult your gynex you can consult your pediatricians um, okay. there are certain uh, Uh, and uh, there are certain so- social activities also going on that support these things mm-hmm. that tell you about it um, yeah. nowadays there are there are such uh, platforms that where people can go and actually uh, share about their thoughts and ask doubts and get help basically yeah 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 but how do we need to uh, uh, make this information go to some uh, village area or town area because they actually don't know what are the things are supposed to be done like they listen uh, to older yeah. people and they listen to them and they do it and sometimes and the gov- uh, actually the government is uh, they, the I, i don't know if it is happening or not but uh, the government has uh, initiatives like baby friendly initiatives they are called they are by unicef yeah. and uh, they are there i don't know if they are get uh, is they are getting there or they, they are reaching the people or not but yes they are there <laughs> <laughs> it does reach to a specific percentage of people yeah yeah like i should go and actually uh, help them out yeah that is so nice you two girls i mean sab sab clear ho gaya abhi and i think we have a lot of people who will be like directly approaching you guys and i hope that they get get a very good help from you and extra information also Thank you so much, Manthi, for coming. Thank I think this, uh, like, obviously this was your first time, so I yes. want to know how was the experience. <laughs> <laughs> I was nervous uh, initially, but uh, as yeah. the time passes, the nervousness goes away. Yeah, and obviously, Alma, how are you feeling? I'm feeling absolutely fine. <laughs> it was such a good session. It was so good to you know hear from Manthi yeah. about so many topics. and you know yeah. i'm so happy you know that it will actually help people who are in touch with us yeah. and even those who are not in touch with us it's an informative yeah. post so yes. we help out a lot of people basically yeah i think we need to go a little deeper also in this because this was just a summary or kind of a brush mm-hmm. up thing because it was related to pre and post delivery preventive measures or little kind of an awareness kind of a thing but the next time i think we should go a little bit deeper so that yeah, people can that. obviously understand mm-hmm. and they can talk to their gynecs if they have uh related yeah. information from this session so they can directly mm-hmm. ask to their gynecologist aisa to hota hai kya i want to get it done like this way or mm-hmm. that way something like this so amanti are you going to come in the next session sure. if i plan sure. something yes yes <laughs> sure <laughs> because i really don't know like 
how do you really get time <laughs> uh, i don't have time for this don't <laughs> i can find time to worry to worry yeah there is one person say, surbhi she says thank you so much many concepts got cleared wow thank you surbhi really thank you so much thank you so much for coming to the session and uh, i hope you enjoyed it i yes. really enjoyed it because it was really informative and it was it opened a lot of uh, questions of my head also thank you so much really You're welcome, i'm going to come next time and alma uh i am going to come with another topic with you so we are going to talk <laughs> oh, on sure. that yes for <laughs> oh, sure okay. Oh, all okay. right okay see you Thank soon you bye 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 yay it was really an amazing and informative session i hope you guys uh like got a little help from this and i'm going to come with uh, such combined sessions more because i think there are a lot of questions to be answered by you guys and i'll be really happy to join such different kind of people taking them live and answering all of these questions of yours through this session so it is really an amazing thing thank you so much guys for sticking up for staying live and staying connected i'm going to come next time with another amazing story and you can actually request me what other topics have to be cleared here so i can actually uh go a little deep into it and find some answers to it thank you so much guys and uh, let's see you next time bye namaste